we had about 70% of the sun disappear from our sky at the, the maximum peak of the eclipse. We've been hearing some great feedback from our community. It was amazing. I thought it was pretty cool. It, it was awesome. ama amazing. It's cool. Bridgewater State University hosted a crowd of 1,500 for the partial solar eclipse. It was awesome. People from all over came out for the spectacular celestial event, spreading out on the lawn outside the school's math and science center. Their excitement prevalent and not solely over what was happening in the sky. To get the glasses. There were um, the glasses at our library, but we thought they were all sold out, so we went here instead. We had glasses for everybody to, to share and to use to view the awesome experience of the, the solar eclipse. Others showed up with homemade solar eclipse viewers, passing the time by teaching others to create their own. Inside the building, a line wrapped around the upstairs floors as people hoped to get a closer look from the observatory's viewing deck. Right now, he's, look at the solar eclipse with these sunglasses on. You can see clouds passing by it. It was really pretty. It was pretty cool because up there you could see it closer and much more bigger in the telescope. It looked um, really cool. The, the, the color um, was really nice and um, I, I can't wait to see when it fully covers the sun. For many, this was their first chance at seeing a solar eclipse. We really wanted to get them interested in uh, taking a look in the sky and really being able to see something once in a lifetime, especially for, for the first time in their lifetime. Getting them to really be interested in higher education and in exploration and in discovery. I mean, any, any chance to, to hook a young mind into science is, is worth every second of it. And it's a love the science, and it's, it's really, no matter how many times I've seen it or heard about it, it's just the way to go for the kids. They did a real good job.